You want to be an editing ninja? Well, you got to know your tools, man. Your pro tools. Tools. Oh man, what up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I am Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and I am here with a whole nother brand new video for you, the Pro Tools beginner. So make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel and hit like before we get started because I know you like this video already, man. Don't you? Don't you? <laughs> And don't forget that WavyWayne.com actually has a bunch of recording and mixing templates to take the guesswork and the technical work out of your hands for a moment so you can be creative, man. Get in that vibe with your artist, or if you're an artist yourself, you can just stop trying to be an engineer and start making some hit songs, man. Visit WavyWayne.com, use my recording and mixing templates, they are gonna turn you up. So today's video is gonna be a real simple one, man. It is basically going to show y'all all of the edit tools and pro tools. I'm gonna break them down because this is some important stuff that you need to know. And if you stick around to the end, I'll even show you my personal favorite tool that trumps everything that you ain't even got to use none of the other tools as long as you know how to use this one tool, all right? So let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, y'all, so here I am in my Pro Tools session, um, and I just got a simple session here, but right across the top right here of the session is where we have our edit tool bar, okay? Um, so right here, you start at the magnifying glass. That's your first tool. And it's actually called the Zoomer tool. Let's just go ahead and lay them all out right now. We got the Zoomer tool. We got the Trim tool. And if you hover over, you see how it giving me a little label, but my, my cursor is so big that it's hiding it. But we got the Selector tool, the Grabber tool, we got the Scrubber tool, and we also have the Pencil tool. So these are all of the edit tools that we have in Pro Tools. I'm going to break you down. I'm going to show you exactly how to use each one of them. So if you watch the first video in this series, then you already know how the Zuma tool works. If you, don't, if you don't know how that works, then you need to go back and watch that video, man, because that's an in-depth video. It shows you how to zoom and all that in Pro Tools, but I am going to show you all some more stuff. Now, obviously, when you select the Zoomer tool, it allows you to zoom in, right? Okay, and you can hold the Option key to zoom out, but if you click and hold it actually allows you to jump into a different zoom mode, which might even be more useful um, if you're going to use this. And that's single zoom mode. That basically will allow you to, let's just say, for example, if I'm using the grabber tool for, for whatever reason, and then I click on my zoom tool, it's going to be single zoom mode where I, I'll just make a zoom selection and it'll immediately jump back to whatever tool I was using last. Now, that could be very, very helpful in some instances, but if you're going to be an editing ninja, stick around to the video. I'm going to show you some, some ways that you are never have to use that actually if you watched the last video already talking about zooming you ain't gonna never have to use that all right so let's go ahead and continue that's the zoomer tool i'm gonna put it back on normal because that's just how i like it next tool that we have is gonna be the trim tool now the trim tool is very very useful one of the most useful um and, and most used actual features of pro tools especially when you're editing but basically the trim tool will allow you to adjust a uh regions boundaries right or clip actually as it's called it used to be called regions back in old pro tools shout out to all the old if you old school pro tools user you remember when it used to be called regions instead of clips make sure you leave a comment because we need to connect okay all right so i'm gonna change my mode real quick but basically this is how the, the the trim tool work at the beginning of a clip you can just simply adjust the clips boundaries right now, if you clip off too much or, or you take off too much, that's perfectly fine because it is completely reversible. You can just zoom back out or un, you see that? Boom, just like that, okay? You can you can basically just untrim it. Untrim it? Yeah. So <laughs> if you trim too much, you can always untrim it. It is non-destructive. Everything that you do with the trim tool can be undone. So this is a great way to adjust the boundary of a clip. Maybe after this little section is done, I don't want this last piece. I can easily just go in and adjust the boundary of that clip or use this to get rid of this nonsense at the beginning of the clip. Now, here's a really cool thing about the Zoomer tool as well. If you add in the option key while using the Zoomer tool, um, the Zoomer tool, the trim tool, if you add in the option key while using the trim tool, it will actually reverse the direction. So if you see right now, all the, the trim tool only wants to trim from the left side of the clip because I'm placing my cursor in the first half of the clip. Once I cross over to the second half of the clip, you see now it'll trim from the end of the clip. 
Now, let's just say I'm at the end of the clip, but I really just want to trim everything from the beginning up until this point. That's when you hold the option key and it will flip that thing around. So allowing you to zoom. I'm sorry, trim. I don't know why I keep saying trim. Zoom. I'm stuck in a zoom head. Oh, zoom head. Oh, zoom head, that boy. All right. So that's the trim tool. And again, everything that you do is completely um, non-destructive, which means that you're not going to be cutting off anything. You're not losing anything permanently, man. Nothing that you do is permanent. So it's really cool tool to use. I use this all the time when I am editing uh, to help me adjust my clips boundaries. All right, let's go ahead and move to the next tool. The next tool is going to be the selector tool. Simply put, this is going to allow you to make and adjust your selections. Huh? Now, you can do this because you want to cut something out, delete something. Let's say I wanted to get rid of this dead space right in between these phrases. I can make a selection there and go ahead and hit delete to get rid of that. Oh, and then guess what? I can definitely use my trim tool to bring it back if I wanted to. Huh? 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 You see how that's working? Cool. So that's the selector tool. A good thing about the selector tool is that, yes, you can click and drag it works just like any other selector tool that you might have used in microsoft word or anything like that but you can just click and drag to make a selection you can also click at one point hold the shift key and click a second point to extend the selection to that point and if you already have a selection you can also hold the shift key to modify the selection that you may have all right so that is the selector tool um yes it, you can also make selections vertically between tracks and hold and shift will extend those selections vertically between the tracks as well. So um, that's a really cool tool. Um, yeah, it, and it, it works hand-in-hand -hand with all the other tools. So if I wanted to zoom in on something, I could make a selection on that section and then go ahead and use one of my zoom shortcuts. Leave the zoom shortcuts down in the comments below if you watched my last video <laughs> to zoom in and out. Cool. Simple as that. Let's just go ahead now to... The grabber tool, a.k.a. the hand tool. <laughs> so the grabber tool is really cool, man. Um, basically, what you're doing with the grabber tool, it allows you to select entire clips or MIDI notes if you're working with MIDI and move them. So you can actually reposition uh, your clips. So if you needed to move something in your session, this is how you would do it with the grabber tool. Just that easy. All right, um, I'm trying to think. Does the grabber tool do anything else? Mm, uh, not that you need to know at this time. But yes, the grabber tool is used for selecting and repositioning your clips in your session. So next, we got the scrubber tool. The scrubber tool is going to allow you to scrub a certain section. So let's just say I'm looking for a particular point in my audio. I can track ain't, yeah, track ain't even mixed, they love it. I can scrub it through and find the exact point that I'm looking for. You can even scrub backwards, and if you want to, you can create some cool, like, kind of scratch effects. Um, I'm not sure how useful it is. <laughs> okay, so that's the scrubber tool. Honestly, I never really used that tool, so we don't got to talk about that too much. Now let's just go ahead over to the pencil tool. Now the pencil tool is very useful for a lot of stuff. Um, one thing that is very useful for is drawing in automation. So right now I got my freehand pencil tool. And if you see, there's all of these different types of pencils, uh, tools, shapes that you can use. But one thing is going to be automation. So let's just say I wanted to, I'm going to go here to the volume automation of this track. If I wanted to increase the volume of this track gradually, with my pencil tool, I could just draw in a little fade or dip it out, anything like that. And that's basically the way that the volume of the track is going to go. Let's mute this beat. What's popping? Brand new mix just dropped it. Right. And you can see that um, my man, you can even see. I don't know if you can see this, too, but my fader here on my fader port 16 is also moving because the automation What's popping. Brand new mix just dropped it. OK, so that's the pencil tool, man. It is very useful for that. And it can also be used. Um, and I, I recommend that you do this very, very uh, carefully if you ever going to do this. But it can be used to actually adjust the uh, uh, to redraw waveforms. OK, so let's just say for some reason I had a click or a pop in this track. If I wanted to redraw the waveform, I, I could zoom in pretty far. And then with the pencil tool, I could redraw this waveform. Now, do I recommend you do that? 
absolutely not in most cases unless there's some type of click or pop happening what you could do is zoom in on it and then you can draw it out to smooth it out to the zero crossing point that zero crossing point that little line that's in there if you can see that little solid line that cuts through your waveforms that is the zero crossing point at that point no sound is happening so if you basically if you are experiencing a click or something right you see how I'm, i can basically create that let me if i play this you'll probably hear it you can hear that right now if i since i created that if that happened already i could just go in and try to draw it out right and clean that up just like that okay now again be very careful with that you can't just go in and redraw your whole verse <laughs> and make yourself a better rapper <laughs> Now, I promise y'all that if you stuck to the end of the video, I would show y'all one of my favorite tools. It's probably the best tool. Not probably. It is the best tool that there is, and that is the smart tool. Because if you ain't using this tool, then you're dumb. You're real dumb. <laughs> all right. So here's how the smart tool works. Basically, you see that there's a bar that connects all of the, the main tools that we're going to be using, the trimmer, the selector, and the grabber. Right above there, that little bar, if you click that, that will highlight all three of those tools. Here's how this works, okay? Let me just go ahead and zoom out. Boom. Basically like this. Whatever you think, however you position your, your thoughts, that's what tool will appear. So if I'm thinking selection. The selector tool appears and I can easily make selections. If I'm thinking grabber, now you gotta make sure you got a tight grip on your mouse because it goes from your brain down to the mouse and into Pro Tools, okay? So you didn't even know your mouse could do that. If I'm thinking grabber tool, I just think grabber and boom, my grabber tool appears. If I'm thinking trim, oh, I wanna trim this clip. Oh man, my trim tool just appears just in time. I'm just joking, y'all. This ain't got nothing to do with no telekinesis or magic or nothing. This is all about positioning the clip, okay? Now, if you have your smart, when you have the smart tool enabled, if you have your um, cursor, positioning your cursor, I should have said, if you have your cursor at the top half of the track, is going to be your selector tool. If you bring that cursor down to the bottom half of the track, that's going to be your grabber tool. And if you take that cursor to the beginning or the end of any clip, that is then going to be... Your trim tool, man. Here's an added bonus for the smart tool, and that's actually using it as a fade tool, right, to create fades. So if I wanted to fade this clip out and with the smart tool, I can just go to the top right corner at the end of this clip, click and drag to create a fade out. Now, fades are going to be very important for you as you are editing because you want to make sure that all of your clips transition smoothly, that they start and end smoothly without clicks and pops. So I definitely recommend that you put a fade on every single clip. Definitely not that damn big, but a little small fade just to make sure that there ain't going to be no clicks or pops as that track um, starts or fades out. Okay. Boom. So that's the smart tool happening right there. All right. All right, y'all, so that's been another quick video to help the Pro Tools beginners out. I really hope you found it helpful, and if you did, I hope you hit that subscribe button, and I know that you hit that like button because you wave it, baby. <laughs> if you want more videos like this, man, this is the place to be. And if you need a recording or mixing template to help you get started with a creative session set up already, ready to go, visit wavywayne.com because you know I got you, all right? All of this is just my advice based on years of experience. You can do whatever the hell you want to do, man. But be dope. Be real dope. <laughs>